Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up and install XAMPP on your Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for XAMPP. And the first link which will appear here will be from apachefriends.org. And it's going to show you the download link directly. So just click on download XAMPP link here. If you uh, land on the home page of XAMPP, straight away you will be able to see uh, these download options. We want to download the Windows version. So we are going to click on the XAMPP for Windows, which is going to start the download of this XAMPP.exe file. So once this file is downloaded, just click on this exe file. So don't uh, start the installation uh, right away. Just click on the folder icon where it's downloaded. So just go to the location and we are going to run this exe file as an administrator. So right click on this uh, file and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes here. And let me just uh, minimize this and minimize the browser. And first of all, you will see this kind of warning which says important because an activated UAC or user account control on your system, some uh, functions of XAMPP are possibly restricted. For this, what you can do is just click on OK here. And then what you can do is you can just search for UAC. So just search for UAC, which is going to give you this result, which says change user account control settings. I'm going to click on this and here you just need to click on OK here and then click on Yes here. OK, once you are done, just go ahead with your XAMPP setup. So on this first setup window, just click on Next here. And then we are going to install the MySQL FileZilla FTP server and the other tools, right? So if you don't have the good reason to change any of these default apps, just leave everything as default and then click on next here. And you can see uh, this is the default folder where XAMPP will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next here. Language will be English in my case, but you can also choose any other language which are listed in this drop down menu and then click on next and then once again click on next which is going to start the installation of XAMPP on your Windows operating system. So at this point you just need to wait for a few seconds until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark and at some point when it wants to start the Apache HTTP server it can give you the warning that do you allow a public and private network to access this app which is apache http server i'm going to click on allow here and now you can see uh, this window which says completing the xamp setup wizard and it also says do you want to start the control panel now which is the xamp control panel so i'm going to just leave this checkbox as checked and then click on finish which is going to launch the XAMPP control panel and this is how this XAMPP control panel looks like it will show you the main apps like Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat so whatever uh, module you want to start you can click on the start button in front of it so for example, I want to uh, start the MySQL. I'm going to click on start button here, which is going to start the MySQL. In between, it can give you the warning symbol, which might say that do you want to allow this app to make uh, changes on your device or access uh, your network. Just click on allow at that point and then wait for the start to finish, right? So once you see the green color around this module, that means that module has been started. So also I want to start the Apache server so that I can uh, use the PHP my admin console on my browser to view or make changes on the MySQL server, right? 
so for this i'm going to just click on uh, start in front of apache also which is going to start this apache the important thing to note here is this port so if this port is not free the apache server is not going to start so make sure this default port which is 80 and the default https port which is 443 is free on your windows operating system so once you see green uh, color in front of apache and mysql just click on any button in front of apache or mysql so let's me click on the admin button in front of uh, apache which is going to launch this uh, browser and it's going to open the local host dashboard on my default browser right so here what we can do we can uh, open the php my admin or other tools uh, using this dashboard right so to open the php my admin just click on this option which says php my admin here and once you click on the php my admin you will see this kind of interface and this kind of interface will allow you to uh, manage your mysql database right so from here you will be able to create databases and then also query your database and manage your database from this panel also once uh, you have started the apache server and mysql server you can also see the logs of uh, the those servers so what's happening on those server you uh, will be able to see if any error uh, occurs you will be able to open the error lock for that and see what happened right if you want to make changes in the configuration you can click on config option here and then you have uh, the option to change configuration from here right so you can uh, change the http d conf or http d ssl conf and many other options right similarly you can also change the configuration of mysql so from here you can see my.ini file so from here you can change some properties of mysql you can also click on the net stack icon and you will be able to see uh, which app is running on which port here right so here you can see at the default port uh, our httpd.exe is running which is the apache server uh, right and then you will be able to see uh, the port for mysql so you can see this is the port and at this port mysql server is running right so if you want to kill any of these app from here you can kill it from here itself also you will be able to see this shell here explorer option here and services option here so let's click on services option for example and then you can see which services are running on your system also you can click on this config option and from here you can change some configurations related to uh, your module so for example if you want to auto start some module you can check these check boxes also if you want to start the control panel of zamp uh, minimized you can click on this option and all the other options are available here once you are done you can stop your uh, zamp server by clicking on the stop button and then you can quit by clicking on this quit button so this is how you can install and set up zamp server on your windows operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video